Hey everyone out there, uh, The Last Great Adventurer here. Um, just given the look at this game that uh, was came recommended to me, uh, Mamadora Reverie Under the Moonlight. Very fancy name. Apparently this is a the fourth game in a series that I am completely unfamiliar with. Um, yeah, I don't really know a lot about this game. It seems very uh, Metroid-ish. Uh, Castlevania-ish. Symphony of the Night Castlevania, of course. Uh, I've heard it's a bit Dark Souls-y, which is what really piqued my interest because I'm a big Dark Souls fan. So we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. I don't intend to beat the game anytime soon, but figured I'd record over it just to, you know, get some practice talking over video games, because I want to do more of this in the future. So here we go! One, two, three, four, five. Control options. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, we want a controller. And we'll go normal. There is probably some talking at the beginning of this game, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. Got a main character there, red-headed girl in the in the coat. Uh, I'm afraid this is as far as I can take you. I'm sorry, anything close to the city is too dangerous. Priestess. Using a leaf. That's, hmm. And that is a maple leaf. C Canadian game. Seal the curse, so there's a curse. So this guy's like a guide. Oh, here we go. Oops. Alright, control stick. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, and pushing up just to talk. So I'm playing with the D-pad, not the control stick. I generally find on 2D games like this where there isn't analog control, use the use the, use the game pad. It generally is better. Got a little double jump. Ooh, whoa. That is a ribbon. And those are combos. Teaching me things, teaching me things. Very straightforward. Push down and jump to fall through buckets. Oop, glowy things. Looks like currency of some kind. The coins, if you will. Yes, yes, teaching me. Platformer 101. This is... Bellflower. Oh, it's probably a healing item. There it is. Store amount, small amount of HP per use. Okay, but how do I use it? Maple leaf. This is my key items. Sacred leaf harvested from Loon Tree. These leaves blessed by the matriarch are indestructible. Sharp enough to purify enemies. It is the main weapon of western priestesses. Hmm. Uh, switch item. Item is a Y button. Okay. Don't want to use it now. I haven't taken any damage. An enemy! Chump! You're a chump! With a bat! Whoops! Oh, okay. Pushing the, uh... The RB button gives me this... Range attack. I can just apparently just use it. It charges like a Mega Buster. And it gets like a... Oops. It's actually not very good at close quarters. Like, at all. God, this game's pretty. Honestly, it's just easier to beat these guys. They, they really made, like, the wrong enemy type to test your, uh, arrow skills. That is a button. That's really clever, putting those, uh, missed arrows there as, like, a, 
as like a suggestion of how you're supposed to solve this puzzle. Face palm. Just touch, just touch the spikes. Mega Man rules are in effect. Okay, here we go. Round two. Recollect all my collectibles. Leave no shinies on, on left behind. And Bellossum or Bellflower. Uh, open menu. Let's do it. And combo the chumps. I swear that's isn't really a maple leaf. Oh, I guess they're on a different plane. They're not also a little more aggressive than the last ones. So I guess you're just kind of supposed to shoot them quickly. Still easier to just melee them. Okay, don't touch the spikes. Whoops. And don't accidentally use your healing items. I don't like games that let you use your healing items when your health is full. It's kind of kind of annoying. Oh, okay, I've discovered another button. The, uh... I want to say it's the B button. I'm, I'm on a PS4 controller playing a game that is showing me Xbox 360 buttons. If only I had found this save spot before I hit spikes. What else is going on here? Save, warp, so it's my fast travel device. Oh, I can't hit her shield! Whatever shall I do? This roll button's actually pretty cool. Ooh, she's weak. Just tossing grenades. Little elven girls. What's the... That's a choice. Ah! They're creepy. They laugh. Ha! Ah. Alright. And I imagine I can't pass through this. Boing! Oh, it's the only way... Oh, no, I can double jump up. So, maybe I can clear that at some point in the future. With some ability. Like this. Clearly I can shrink down at some point. Samus Morph Ball it. Ooh, that is a... Straight up Dark Souls elevator. With a button and everything. Hmm. You look tricksy. I didn't like that. Ah! Well, that sucks. Wow. Okay. Alright, that is... That's just not cool. Okay, don't touch the enemies. They do damage you. The roll doesn't automatically turn you around either. over here. Uh huh. Ah! Get no, get away. Poison. Great. Fantastic. Oh, jeez, how do you You know what? I need to be using this more often. If this poison doesn't end on its own, I am going to be dead. Ah, the bell. Does not heal you, though. Oh, okay. If you save the game, it does fully heal you. So that's handy. An ivory bug, one of 20. That appears to be a collectible. Losing their sickness. Alright, let's go the other way before I progress too much further. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Why did I d Oh, that's interesting. When I save, I get three bells. Uh, bell sprouts are... That's a cool animation. Uh, bell flower. 
So that's like a permanent... It, it's like your Estus Flask of Dark Souls. It's a, it's a permanent thing that refills. Presumably it will be upgradable in the future. Probably everyone you find gives you three more. That seems logical. Big boy. I don't know if that's hurting him. Roll! Oh, yep, gotta roll clo- Ironically, I have to roll clo- It's really hard to tell, like, where his hurt box starts. Alright, he wasn't too bad. Charm. What does that do? Okay, it's passive. Passive effect. Sometimes enemies will drop twice as much money. Mooney. Okay. An old worn out charm radically increases your luck. Alright. So I'll be getting more sparkles. Oh, was that like a fall state? Watch this. Like, see, she hits the ground with her hands. So if you jump from too high and you can't move for a second. That's something to keep in mind. Hmm. Yeah, you, you freeze for a second when you land like that. So you gotta be, I guess, kind of careful coming down from a height. So you don't get, like, fall into trouble. Go away. Get poison, those are poisonous. They give out this money like candy, which tells me that if I when I do find a shop, they're probably going to be expensive. Oop. Ah, that persists longer than I thought. Looks like a thing. That looks like it's gonna be a thing in the future. An... Oh, come on, I wasn't. there. And that's just poison plumes. What else we got here? Mm -hmm. Who is this? I have no business with you. Go away. Nice. Okay. She's probably a merchant. I gotta get something to unlock her. Just a guess. That's usually how these things go. Oh, come on. I gotta remember not to touch them. Oh, good job. Oh, wow, that... Mm, getting this roll down is tricky. tell. Okay, I guess we're committed. Just leave them all behind. Still poison, though. That sucks. Doesn't last super long, but it is kind of irritating. 
how easy it is to get poisoned. There we go. Got it. It's down here. Treasure chest. Probably more sparkles. That's sort of disappointing. Usually when you find a treasure chest, you kind of want to get like an item. Something like feel like you achieve something. And you can crouch and shoot, so that's cool. Oh, you gotta recharge it longer. There's like three different... Oh, the deck! Alright, and... Oh, what? You! Really? That... Hmm. This game is harder than it looks. You can roll through the uh, the daggers though, so that's that's cool. But your timing has got to be really precise, and it doesn't really give you a lot of leeway. Moving platforms, of course. I feel like this is something. Oh, it's a. I feel like that might connect to one of the other ones we saw earlier. Maybe a shortcut of some kind. Once I get the mo- Oh! Of course. Hmm. Not feeling confident. Really satisfying to hit things in this game. Boing! Boing! Yep, definitely pass. Oops, safe spot. Get me some life. Is the warp function open? It is not. So you can't just warp to any of them, or at least not yet. Oop, this looks like a boss. It is a scary millipede. It does not talk to me. It takes a little bit of damage. Doing something. Woo, okay. What do you think? Uh, you're hot. Pattern's not too complicated. Here it comes. Oh, no, that's. Oh, come on. I was a... Now, touching her doesn't damage. Oh, okay, it's getting tougher behind me. Ow. What if you can hit her tail? I bet it does massive damage if you can hit it. Oh, jeez. Hardest first boss I ever fought. And it broke. Maybe she was cursed. Nope. She is stone. Now I feel bad. So pretty. Whoa, that's a good reflection. That's a person. Nice. Kaho? Ko? Aho? I don't know. Ask a scorn. The situation. Crast. These names aren't so great. Untouched, is it? Maybe he's a merchant.
Can't tell if he has like a skull face or he's just really, really like gaunt. Oh. Talk one more time. I've been asleep for a hundred years, eh? Like that, blue, 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 blue. can't have voice acting. Do the blue, 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 blue. makes it sound like they're talking. <sighs> Sorry about the coughing, everyone. He's got a lot to say, so we'll try one more time till he repeats himself. Nope, oh, he's repeating himself. Okay, that's a gate. Ooh, this is a full-on city. Did not expect that. Oop, items? No, it just explodes. It's just stuff that explodes in the background. Alright, I think when I find the next save spot, I'm gonna... There it is. Alright, that's it. Oh, that, hold on a second. Imp-infested forest? Is that what those little kids were? You're a panda. Finally, someone I can spend my money on. Crystal Seed. Fairy Tear. Ring of Candor. Does not tell me what any of these things do. I can afford these two, though. Oh, okay, tells me. It's an active effect. Increases attack by 50%. Yes, please. And the Fairy Tear. Passive. Raises user's resistance to status ailments. I really hate being poisoned. I may take that. And whatever this does. Emits sound when you are near... Secrecy? I guess it tells you when you get to find secrets? I do not know. Let me just put these on while I'm thinking about it. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I got both on. Soft seed made a crystal quite difficult to grow into an adult tree due to its delicacy. I wonder if that's similar to the bellflower and then it regens at every save point. Old worn out charm, radically... Okay, solidified state of a fairy's tear. Lightly enchanted. Hold on before I do that. There's how you switch. And I use it. No, I use it. And now I'm... Super strong. Save, and it regens. So yeah, it works the same way. Basically, all these consumables re re respawn at the save points. And now I can... I still can't warp. That must definitely unlock later. So, um, that was... That was, uh... The first stage of uh, Momodora. I gotta say, it's really good. Plays really good. Feels really good. Looks really good. Uh, there's seems to be a lot to this game. It, it Like I said, all those uh, branching paths that we couldn't access, uh, whenever you get whatever kind of like shrinking or roll, maybe a whole new character, who knows. Uh, definitely stuff to go back to and explore and unlock. I highly recommend this game. Um, at the time of recording this, it was on sale on Steam for $7. It's normally $10. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep playing this. It's, it's the kind of 2D platformer uh, art with light RPG elements I'm really into. Fans of Castlevania Symphony of the Night probably would love this. Uh, I can sort of see the Dark Souls similarity that people talked about. I haven't played Salt and Sanctuary, which is also a very Dark Souls-like 2D game. This feels less that and more Symphony of the Night, but it's definitely in that wheelhouse. So, Like I said, I can't wait to play more of this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't do these very often, or really ever. This is kind of my first one. I just kind of decided to record uh, on on the spot, on the spur of the moment. Um, so, I may do more of these in the future. Thanks for watching.